Today we will talk about sound and this is the final result. Okay, first up we need some sounds in the asset folder. Here we go. I have a door close sound, a door open sound and a motor sound. Here are some settings you can force to mono, you can load it in the background or otherwise the code will wait for it. Uh, Ambisonic, I think this is not so important. You have a uh, option to decompress or load. This will have you will have higher load times, but you will have um, very quick play times. You can leave it compressed in the memory. This means that uh, as soon as it plays, it will be decompressed and played and then spawn away after it. Or you can choose streaming. In general, choose streaming for music and for all the other things, choose decompress on load. How to get the sound? Just grab your phone, go outside, record it, extract the mp3 after it and slice it in Audacity. That's what I did with my own car. The audio system in Unity is an input-output system and the input is the audio and listener. You should only have one audio listener and it makes the most sense to have it either on your camera or on your main character. To add audio to a game object you can add a component. For example here it is my car. Oh wait I have upgraded Unity so I can use the prefab preview. So very nice. I will add the component uh, audio source. And here we have to select an audio clip, for example, the motor. There we go. We can specify an output, it's not necessary. So the output can be a audio mixer, you can create it. You should have one main audio mixer in your project. You do not have to, but I would recommend it because um, here under the audio mixer, you have some groups, for example, the master. Normally it makes sense to have at least two groups. One is music and the other one is sound if you have music and sound in your uh, project. And if you assign it to the mixer, then you can give these options to the player so that they can um, set the sound volume in the settings and it's applied to all of your objects. Let's have a quick look at all the options. You can mute your sound, you can bypass some effects, for example, all effects, or just a listener or a re reverb effect. Uh, you can play on awake. This makes um, no sense uh, for many game objects. So it's marked by default. And the first thing I do is always uh, unmark it. You can loop it. Uh, it makes sense for the motor. It doesn't make sense for the doors. So I mark it here because I have the motor. You can set the priority if uh, you have many sounds and you Unity can't play them all, so uh, you can set a priority for that. Uh, you can set a volume. Uh, this is relative to the other ones. You can set a pitch, high pitch, low pitch. Um, you can say, okay, I want a more left sound or right. Uh, in the 3D games, I would leave it um, on zero because this only is valid for 2D sounds and uh, the other default value that I don't like uh, with play on awake is the spatial blend. And you should set it to 3D on 3D games because uh, if you go near to the object, then the sound is very loud. If you go farther away, the sound becomes quieter. And here are some 3D sound settings. So you can uh, play around with these, but if you have your spatial, uh, spatial blend to 2D, uh, these won't apply. So I would always recommend you to set it to 3D. The next up is a volume wall off. You can have a logarithmic or linear wall off and um, you have to read this axis like um, this is a volume from zero to one and this is a distance to the object. So if you have a logarithmic wall off, this means that it's very loud if you're directly at the object, but if you move away only a little bit, then it gets uh, quiet very fast. If you have a linear wall off, um, it's linear with your distance. You can set the min and the max distance. Um, you can also see two different spheres. If you are in this range, then the volume will change. 
here in this range you will hear nothing and within this near range you will have a volume of one okay um maybe i start with play on awake so now i show you what will happen so you see the camera on the left and you see the big blue sphere so the camera is outside the sphere we will hear nothing and now we are getting into the sphere and slowly the sound gets louder and now it's on full volume first off we declare the audio source and say get component audio source now if you have a look at the audio source you will find everything you already got from the ui and uh, here you can set it dynamically for example the pitch can be set to the widget body velocity magnitude and there we go the sound is gone because the pitch is now zero the velocity is zero and as soon as i drive the pitch goes up and as always it's all about tweaking the values um, i will start with a fixed value of 0 0.8 and divide the magnitude by 20 to uh, to prevent a high pitch now we need open close sounds I wouldn't recommend to have more than one audio source, so we will add some audio clips in the car animation script. I call them close clip and open clip. Drag and drop them from your asset folder into the scene. And we enhance our enter car animation script by saying, okay, if the time is smaller than 0 0.5 seconds and the time is greater than 0 0.5 seconds then we just have rated a half second and then we can say okay get our car animation audio sales and then there is one method called play one shot and this method expect uh, expects an audio clip and we say nearest car open clip and there we go we play it once and we do not have to specify another audio source on our game object we do the same for the exit car animation again check the time is um, overcoming thumb threshold for example 0 0.2 seconds and then we play the open clip and after 1.2 seconds we play the close clip when we enter the car, we should maybe play the sound. So we say audio cells play, then the audio source that's assigned to it in the game window will play it. And when the exit car animation starts, we will stop the sound. So that's basically it. I hope you liked it. So um, this is adding some atmosphere to our game. We having sound, you can add music as well with the same technique or radio or something like that gunfires everything so sound is easy uh, just do it in the next episode we will continue with our game and we will add the network code for the car because if you play in network mode right now you uh, can't see that the other one is driving in a car and the game isn't in sync anymore so make sure to subscribe and don't miss an episode. Every Sunday I will continue with this tutorial.